Hello everybody, how are you today? Today we will review some important points in the 100 lesson. Let's remember together. As we know, each cube equals 1. So I will say 1, 1. Okay? Let's count with me. 2 once, 3 once, 4 once, 5 once, 6 once, 7 once, 8 once, 9 once. When you add just one cube, you will get uh, let's count with me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, once. 9 once plus 1 1 equal 10 once. If you collect them in one model, like this, you can say 1 10. So 10 once equal 1 10. For example, if we have number 54, 54 has two digits, 4 tenths and 5 ones. 4 tenths means I have 4 columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 columns of 10, okay, 4 tenths. And 5 ones means I have 5 small cubes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 small cubes, 5 ones. Okay, another example, if we have number 37. 37 has 3 tenths and 7 ones. 3 tenths means 3 columns of 10. 1, 2, 3. Okay? 3 tenths and 7 ones. 7 ones means I have 7 small cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 37. We learned that also the smallest one digit is 1 and the greatest one digit number is 9. The smallest two digits number is 10 and the greatest two digits number is 99. And the number comes just after 99 is 100. Okay? Because when we add 1 to 99, we will get 100. So the number after 99, 100. As we know, each column has 10 ones. So let's count with me. Have 1 10, 2 10, 3 10, 4 10, 5 10, 6 10, 7 10, 8 10, 9 10, 10 10. If you collect them in one model, like this, you can say 100. 100. So 10 10 equal 100. You can write you, you can write also 100 in word or in digits 100 zero, zero. 100 is read as 100 and it has three digits number also 100 is the smallest three digits number and 999 is the greatest three digits number the place value in value. Place value is the home of each digit. Also, place value means where does the number live? Look at the house or the home of, of place value. The home has three rooms. The first room for ones and the second room for tens digits and the third row for hundreds dashes. For example, if we have number 365, I will write the number in my house. Look, the place value of 3 is hundreds, and the place value of 6 is tens, and the place value of 5 is ones. Let's press. Read the number, then look at the underlying digit and write the place value. Okay, place value, hundred or tens or ones. The name of house or the name of room of the digit. First, we have number 925. Let's write OTH. Then when we read the number, uh, you should start with the number in 100 place. 
900. Then read the number in tens of place and ones of place together because they are friends. 925. Okay? The underlying digit here is 2. 2 in tens of place. So the place value of 2 is tens. Excellent. Then 828. Let's write OTH. Huh? The underline, the underline digit is 8. Can you tell me the place value of number 8? Yes, excellent. Once. Then 219. The underline digit, 2. 2 in 100 place. So I will write, yes, hundreds. The place value of number 2, hundreds. Then 670. OTH. 0 in once a place. So the place value of 0, once. Then 344. The underlying digit 3. So the place value of digit 3 is 100. Excellent. 312. The underlying digit is 1. So the place value of 1 is tens. Then 405. Can you tell me the place value of digit 5? Mm, yes, excellent. Once. Then 774. Huh? The place value of digit 7 is excellent. Hundreds. Then 439, the underlying digit is 3. Huh? Can you tell me the place value of digit 3? Yes, excellent. Tens. The last one, 611. The underlying digit is 6. And 6 in 100 place. So the place value of digit 6 is hundreds. Excellent. The value. The value means how many zeros in front of each digit. Let's remember. 100 loves two zeros or has two zeros. Okay. And tens has one zero. Once thousand has doesn't love any zeros. Okay. For example, if we have number 365, the value of digit 3 is 300, okay? Because 3 in 100 place, and 100 has two zeros. And the value of 6 is tens. 6 in tens place, and tens has one zero. So I will put one zero in front of 6. Then the value of 5 is 5. Because the number 5 in one place, and once doesn't love any zeros okay also as we read as we write when we read number 365 listen to me i said 300 so i will put two zeros to number three then 60 huh? 60 so i will put one zero in front of six then five 365 i said five so we were uh, the value of number five, five without any zeros. Okay. Read the number, then look at the underlying digit and write the value. Remember, hundred has two zeros, tens has one zero, and once no zero. The first number five hundred thirty-one. The underlying digit one. One in one's a place. So the answer is one. Excellent. Without any zeros. Okay. Then 337. 337. The underlying digit three. Three in tens a place. So I will put one zero in front of three. We will write three, then put zero. Okay. Also lesson 330. I said 30. So the value of 3, 30. Next, 920. 920. The underlying digit 2. And I said 20. So the value of 2 is 20. Or 2 in tens of place. And tens has 1, 0. So I will put 1, 0 in front of 2. 701. 701. Look, the underlying digit here is 0. The underlying digit here is 0. 
the value of zero in each place is equal to zero okay when we found zero in one place or in ten place or in hundred place the value of zero is equal to zero okay so i will write zero it's 182 the underlying digit is eight lesson 882 i said 800 so i will put two zeros 800 then 600 the underlying digit is zero hey, remember the value of zero is equal to yes excellent zero then 118 the underlying digit is one one in tensor place so i will put one zero in front of one the value of one in number 118 is 10. 415 the underlying digit is four so can you tell me the the value of uh, number four huh yes excellent 400 then 386 the underlying digit three three in hundred place so i will put two zeros in front of three the value of three is 300 the last one 720 lesson i said 20 and two in tens of place and tens has one zero say so the value of two is 20. then comparing numbers using greater than or smaller than or equals note that the number with the less digit is smaller for example if we have number 46 and number 236 400 uh, sorry 46 has two digits but 236 has three digits so 236 is greater than 46 excellent when comparing the three digits numbers huh, example number one if we have 479 and 786 first i will write oth oth then look at the hundred place in the two numbers four and seven can you tell me which is the greatest number four or seven yes excellent seven so 786 is greater than 479 example number two if we have 356 and 398 write oth and oth huh. look at the numbers in hundred place in the two numbers three three we have the same numbers so move to the tenth place five and nine uh, which is the greatest number five or nine yes excellent nine so 398 it's greater than 356 example number three 568 and 560 okay look at the hundred place in the two numbers five and five we have the same number move to the tenth place six and six also we have the same numbers then eight zero okay in one place we have eight in another side we have zero uh, which is the greatest number eight or zero yes excellent eight 568 is greater than 560 put greater than or smaller than or equals letter a we have number 535 and 439 huh. First, remember first look at the hundred uh, look at look at the hundred place in two in the two numbers okay five four huh? five is greater than four so five hundred thirty five is greater than four hundred thirty nine letter b we have six hundred ninety eight and nine hundred sixty eight look at the number in hundred place six and nine which is the greatest number yes excellent nine nine hundred sixty eight is greater than six hundred ninety eight letter c we have one hundred thirteen and seventy two it's very easy can you tell me which is the greatest number 
Ha, yes, excellent, 113, because 113 has three digits number, but 72 has two digits number, excellent. Letter D, we have number 738 and 538. Look at the numbers in 100 place, 7 and 5. 7 is greater than 5, so 738 is excellent, greater than 538. Letter E, we have 227 and 238. First, look at the numbers in 100 place. We have 2 and 2, the same number. So move, move to the 10th place. 2, 3. 3 is greater than 2, so 237 is greater than 227. Letter F, we have 105 and 501. Hey, which is the greatest number? Yes, excellent, 501, because we have 1 in 100 place. Another side, we have 5 in 100 place, and 5 greater than 1. Letter G, we have 801, another side, 804. Look at the number in 100 place, 8 and 8, the same number. Move to the 10th place, we have 0 and 0, also the same number. Then, uh, move to the 1th place. We have 1, and other side we have 4. 4 is greater than 1, so 804 is gre greater than 801. The last one, we have 800 and 900. It's very easy. Can you tell me which is the greatest number? Yes, excellent, 900 is greater than 800. Then circle the greatest number. Letter A, let's read the numbers. 26, 319, and 100. Can you tell me which is the greatest number? Huh? Yes, excellent, 319. Letter B, 406, 89, 312. Can you tell me which is the greatest number? Huh? Yes, excellent, 406. The last one, 900, uh, 918, 909, 909, 919. Uh, which is the greatest number? Yes, excellent, 919. Circle the smallest number. Uh, first, let's read the numbers. 96, 81, 72. Uh, which is the smallest number? Yes, excellent. 72, the smallest number. Huh? Letter B, 200, 61, 270, 281. Huh? Which is the smallest number? Yes, excellent. 261. Look at the digits in 100 place. 2, 2, 2, the same number. Move to the tensor place. 6, 7, 8, 6 is the smallest number. So, 261, the smallest number. The last one, 620, 631, 610. The smallest number? Huh? Yes, excellent. 610. Thank you, primary three. Goodbye.